Last Five Years is a modern piece um, that's based around a guy called Jamie and a girl called Kathy um, and their five-year relationship basically. It's the tale of, of how Jamie is a really successful writer and Kathy is a bit of a struggling actress, uh, funnily enough, um, and it, it shows their relationship through five years. So many people ask me if I regret doing Over the Rainbow, and yeah, at times it was really soul-destroying and difficult, you know, you're putting yourself out there for millions of people every week. Um, but I loved it, you know, I made some incredible friends, and to have the opportunity to sing in front of the Lord each week was um, amazing, and I learned a heck of a lot about myself as as a performer and about my personality as well and um, so yeah I loved it, it was great. Yeah it does put a lot of a lot of pressure on on the individual I think you don't really think about it when you go to the auditions you, well I didn't anyway I just thought oh, I'd love to have the opportunity to play the role of Dorothy and Andrew's brand new show you know on the West End and I went along and then you're kind of in this whirlwind of auditions and before you know it you're singing live in front of you know millions of people um, but it, it is stressful I mean I tried not to reads newspapers or, or YouTube or things like that but you do and then you know there can be one nasty comment out of 30 and that is the one that you will remember and get really upset about um, so it is difficult and I think I mean I was the eldest at 22 so I think that for the younger girls that are sort of 16 17 I don't, I don't know how they handled it I wouldn't have been able to handle it at that age it is difficult because you're thrust into a house um, and not only are you you know living with uh, you know 10 other girls but you're also with each other every day, rehearsing and, you know, doing interviews or doing whatever we happen to be doing. So it, it was really stressful in that sense. And there were times when all of us just wanted to be to sit in our rooms and just not talk to anyone. Um, but I kind of took on the role of the mum in the house, really, because none of the other girls had really lived away from home. And of course I had, I'd been to, to drama school. So I was the one that was kind of like, need to pick up your plates and you need to do this and you need to do the cooking. And everyone kind of came to me with their problems and stuff, which was... It was really sweet. I loved, I loved all the girls and it actually be, became just like one big sleepover or something, one big dormitory when we were there. When you've got 20 seconds before you're about to perform, you've got somebody going, you're on in 20, you know, and you've got someone shouting, 19, 18, and you just and there's people faffing with your hair and you're running to get your, your clothes on and they put you on, on the spot that you're on and there's someone going five, four, three, and you're just like, oh, I've just got to go for it. Um, so I think at the time it was, there was so much happening and there was so much going on and there was a live audience as well so I just kind of concentrated on the fact that, that there was a live audience and that I was just almost doing a theatre performance. Kathy's a very different role to any anything else that I've ever played. I mean the first role I ever played was Wendy in Peter Pan. She's like 10 or something um, and then of course I did a lot of Dorothy and then I went on to do Sandy and they're all very kind of cute girl next door characters and Kathy's is not like that at all. She's, you know, she's got a real, a real stomach to her, and she's real, really gutsy. And I, I can relate to Kathy in a lot of ways because she's a struggling actress, and she goes along to all these auditions, and she's not getting anywhere. Um, and we've, we've all been there in, in the industry. When I came out of drama school, I was going to audi audition after audition after audition and not getting anything um, until Dorothy came along, which was the, you know, luckiest time of my life. I still think it's the luckiest time of my life. Um, so yeah, I can relate to her in a lot of ways because I know how it feels to be rejected from so many auditions.